Yeah, so I'm, I was gonna talk a little about the course organization that I've done, and then, then you'll hear a little about some more sophisticated course organization. So I, I haven't used groups. I, I don't have any way to see my different discussion sections in Canvas. I, I didn't even know that was possible, but I've learned that it's possible. And so, so here you see a screenshot. This isn't quite what I see when I log on to my homepage. This is what the students see. I, I see some like grayed out features on the left-hand side also. And when I started with Canvas, what I wanted was to replicate what I had used for my course homepages every other time I had taught a course, which was just some like HTML file with at the top like information about where is discussion section, that kind of thing. And then a section where I put some handouts and then some section where I update if I like find a mistake or something like that and I have something kind of time sensitive that I want to convey to the students. And so it, like what Sharon was saying uh, like back at the beginning of the talk about how it becomes easier as you, like it's sort of a struggle at first with Canvas and then it becomes easier. That's very much how I found it also. like getting this layout that I want. Now I can do it completely automatically, but there are certain things like, like you can't choose to have this sort of home page until you select that. There is a lead page from among your group of pages, and they're just these little steps that to me were not intuitive, but now that I've done it six times or so, now it is intuitive. <laughs> and, and I've found, like in general with Canvas, I find things that I'm like things that I've stuck with work really well. So sometimes I've tried things like have students upload anonymously to some wiki type page and maybe I find that I didn't like the way that worked and then I just sort of drop it. But I've like narrowed it down to, to things that I find work really well. So things like uploading a handout, I've, that's one of my favorite things about Canvas is I just go, I like type the name of the link that I want, then I highlight it, and I've just sort of learned this to me, random collection of steps. So I highlight it, then I click on like upload file, and then it automatically uploads the file that I choose and turns that into a link. But so I guess the main thing that I was supposed to talk about on this page, which maybe I haven't done, is on the, on the right side, left side, it's hard for me to tell. Yeah, left side. On the left side of the screen, there are all these different things and I often wish there were fewer options in Canvas, like calendar, what does that mean? Syllabus, what does that mean? Like I even looked up in the dictionary what syllabus means because it seemed to mean something different from what I thought it meant. And, and so on the, on the next screen, you'll see a lot more options. And like maybe the best thing is just to see that there is flexibility for removing things. Like I, I don't have modules, I don't have conferences, I don't have chat. Yeah. Question. You mentioned that you, you see is not the same view that your students see. Can you add yourself as an observer yeah. to your own class so that mm -hmm. you can see the view mm -hmm. they see? Yeah, you you can. And I I have not found that my life is better when I do that. <laughs> 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 When I, when I go to student view, it seems to add some like ghost figure to the grade book and often that confuses me. So, so that, that's a good example of something where it's like a feature, I tried it maybe twice and then was just like, I will not try this for, <laughs> for the next foreseeable future. But may, maybe some, uh, some of the others use the student view more. Mm -hmm. um, I, I haven't also really use student view much and it's hard for me sometimes to figure out like what they're seeing especially when it comes down to not just what does my course look like to them but what does it feel like to turn an assignment in and that's something i might be able to do on student view but haven't really played with uh okay i can great but i didn't uh, i've changed my organization a lot um on Canvas. I didn't know what modules meant at first, and I had no idea how to use them. I discovered that by, by looking at someone else's course. And at first, I think the hardest thing for students to navigate on Canvas was to figure out where to turn things in. Where can they find the PowerPoint? Where are the assignments? And I discovered that modules was actually the cleanest way to do that, especially if I set that as my home page, because then I kind of forced students to go there. Is that true that then they, that's their homepage as well or can they 
Okay, one, one conflict on Canvas is sometimes students can choose to have too many choices about like what email notifications they receive, and sometimes they won't be getting all the information I'd like them to. But um, my how I organize modules has grown too. Initially, I had a module for each week, and I just have all of my assignments, PowerPoints, quizzes, like a ton of information just stacked, and it was very messy. But then I discovered pages. So I could create a course page for each week. So here I have um, like week three overview. And if they clicked on that, I'd have a picture. You can add pictures, it's nice and colorful, and a description. Like this week, we're gonna learn about how to uh, use geometry or how to build kites to help teach the concept of geometry. And uh, a little description and then headings, like, and here's your assignments. And then I could embed a link to the assignment that they're to complete or in a quiz, here's the quiz you'll take this week, and then there's a link to the quiz. So you can get really creative with how you organize things, but that wasn't really evident to me until I saw someone else do it. And uh, so wait, How did they find the pages? Is it like what they go to when they log on yeah, there? Yeah, so under modules, my modules are week one module, week two uh -huh. module, week three. If they click on week three, I have very consistently a page. That's the first thing they see. And they know, and I had to tell them like direct instruction on this, you click on that page and then you'll see your assignment and the quiz. And then they have just hyperlinks to those things. So it's very clean, as long as you're consistent with the formatting, which is something I'm still working on. Um, and so I found that to be very helpful. And then also, you, you now I have uh, some discussion sections for another assignment. And so I have for a different course, I'm teaching the discussion section and their assignments do. And that's a heading under modules, right? So um, it'll say week three overview and then discussion section and under that, a list of things. And you can also play with how things are indented, which I discovered and didn't know before. And that makes a huge difference. Right, uh, because it just makes things a lot more clear, uh, just based on how you indent. Um, and just to speak to the technology uh, issue we talked about earlier, I think sometimes students expect changes to be instant, and I have to remind them that they're not, especially on Canvas. I might need to make a change in class and have to remind them, okay, you need to refresh your page or you won't see this change. It might take time for you to see it, and that's just how the way it is. Uh, the calendar is something I haven't really used. That's more helpful for the students. And I think what that does, Karen, correct me if I'm wrong, but if they're taking multiple courses using Canvas, they get to see all of the assignments when they're due. And when they complete one, it'll be crossed out. And uh, the students stumbled upon that the other day in my class and just blew their mind. And they were so excited. And I think it would have helped them if I had pointed that out. So uh, the students also don't necessarily, as tech savvy as they are, they don't necessarily know how to use this stuff automatically. So it helps if you walk them through, and I have to remind them many, many times. I still get questions, what's, what's the module? Where do I find my assignments? And so it takes a lot of patience and training for them. I'm not sure I understand the question. So when you call them modules, do other instructors call them something different? I don't think so, because that's they're what they're called. called. Modules on the that's the feature on Canvas. And that's why I didn't use it for a long time, because I didn't know what that word meant. And when you click under modules, initially it'll be blank, because you have to design it. Comp, yeah. Right? So and which, which of my stuff is actually called a module, so mm -hmm. and the student is going to understand it as a module. No, so I, if their I, instructors weren't using them, no. Then they might not have. I, th I think what it, what we're saying is it's an it, there's a navigational list and modules is one of the points okay. in the navigational list on every yeah. course space. So, over time, as it rolls out, students should all start to understand what module means because they, you know, by the time they're juniors, they've had two years of taking courses that use that. Right, the terminology comes more yeah. familiar to them because right. yeah. they're using yeah. the tool. Except I would just say that we all use them differently, it sounds like. Yeah. And so that, I, and I and I want to echo what Chris was saying originally. I think that the navigational list is incredibly confusing and very confusing to students. And because we all do organize our classes, it looks like quite differently, mm -hmm. they, it isn't assured that they can, they can navigate easily. 
because I realize now that what I did was I, I had modules by week, and in the module by week were the assignments, not all of the assignments, but the assignments for reading and my, my contributions of my PowerPoints. But under assignments was different, that what was due from them, um, it was a different so navigational. So, yes, and I do think it's confusing, and I do think there's too many of them. Um, I, I, I sort of also want to echo Chris on this. I think that the student view is confusing, um, except one point when I did log in as a student and I realized I had failed to do something, it was no place for them to upload their assignment. There I realized, once again, I had failed to make it, uh, to publish it, right? So, um, but, <laughs> and, I, and then uh, one final echo of Chris, I do find this not intuitive, and I do struggle with trying to figure out exactly what step I'm supposed to take for, the, for doing the next thing. But it is a pretty confusing navigational list. Um, and I think that's why I try to be, I give, do a lot of modeling in the class, so uh, every, Tuesday and Wednesday we'll have an in-class activity and so I'll exit the PowerPoint and be like okay it's time for our in-class activity I'm going everyone log on to canvas I'm going to modules we're in week eight let's click on week eight I'm going to the home page for week eight and here's your assignment then I click so they can see me going through the steps and some of them need that or else they'll be lost and they sometimes won't say anything uh, they can alternatively get to the assignment through assignments but depending on how many you have that that can be kind of confusing for them even more so I think than yes. the modules. Yes. Yeah. You're much nicer than I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have so much to say about the user interface on the canvas. To Sandy's point though, yeah. uh, you call your top pages week three overview and, and over at um, continuing ed we call them week three roadmap. Okay. So that's kind of a difference of terminology there. Right. But we're also for the last year we've had heated discussions about which parts of those net of that navigation menu to hide and whether we should Mm -hmm. So that's something that's been consistently argued about. Um, I'm curious if you guys lean towards one or the other. Because what we're doing now, a lot of our classes have a front page, home page, and they have buttons that go directly to the pages. Mm -hmm. And that lets us hide modules all together. Because mm -hmm. yep. we want a, like a straight stream of home page content assignment, as opposed to all these different avenues to get to the same place, mm -hmm. which can be confusing. So I do what you what you're describing. I, yeah, I didn't know what modules were. I've I've never used them, and I use front page as my home page. Yeah, and I think it's a trade off because I don't know how many of us use my data or something like that. So that's one where everyone, as far as I know, has to do with the exact same thing to like input their stuff into my data. Here's something where we have lots of different choices and we do it different ways, but then that leads to some lack of consistency across different. Classes. Yeah, I, I haven't used modules, so it's it's definitely not a requirement to Canvas. I think I organize my class around modules, but like now that you ask, I'm like, what do I do? I mean, I think for uh, you know, one of the things that helps when you're an early adopter is you tell all your students like this is a pilot, and like I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be able to keep telling them that. Um, <laughs> but like when you tell the students like this is a pilot, like they have and like like good humor is required, right? Like, you know, things are going to break and like, you know, we're able to do things that no one else has been able to do before, but you know, that means it's not always gonna work and like, let me know. And like, I actually, you know, tell my students like bug Karen, like if something doesn't work, like I feel really bad for Karen, but like, but it, but it also, um, you know, there are some times when things, you know, aren't working the way they're supposed to. And, um, but, I, but basically they can, sort of progress, I think they can drop in each week, like week by week. And then, you know, there's sort of each week has like this uh, at the bottom, you can kind of click through the different steps of like, here are the readings, here's where you need to upload your video, and then here's the discussion board where you comment on the videos that have been uploaded. Do you do that in modules or on, on a content page? Um, so there's pages, but the, you can go from page to page, it's right. sort of, it's linked, so you, you don't have to find the pages, the sort of the pages all lead to each other. and and I think each week is organized as a, as a module. But I could be wrong about that. Two minutes left. 